I think it's supposed to be 120 this afternoon. It may surprise you to learn that heat waves are the number one cause of weather related deaths in the U.S. It doesn't get the headlines sometimes that it deserves because a heat wave doesn't look like a tornado or a damaging hurricane or a flash flood where you can quickly and easily see the devastating impact. AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist John Porter helped to create the AccuWeather Heat Wave Counter and Severity Index, a one-of-a-kind scale to help people better understand the dangers they face during a heat wave. It's a silent killer, oftentimes catching people off guard, aggravating underlying medical conditions. The scale will measure the severity, intensity, and duration of a heat wave. Heat waves are defined as three or more consecutive days of extreme heat based on the climate of a specific city. A heat wave in Philadelphia is a lot different than a heat wave in Phoenix or Austin, Texas, for example. While any extreme heat can be dangerous, the index uses historical data to rate past heat waves. The exclusive AccuWeather forecast to rate upcoming heat waves and describes their severity, ranging from moderate to extreme. And that intensity takes into account, for example, how long the heat wave lasted and how high those temperatures were above that specific threshold that we set in each city. Porter says this information shows trends around the growing impact of climate change and other factors such as urbanization. In the majority of locations, when you look at the number of days that were in a heat wave, in many locations, that's accelerated over recent decades. It will also help people make the best decisions when they're affected by life-threatening heat. Take extra water breaks, limiting time outside, for example. For AccuWeather, I'm Emmy Victor.